Yo, what is going on guys? Today I am back with another video and today I am actually on Alvaron, which is a brand new 718 RSPS. Now this RSPS has a ton, a ton of futures, but before I get into that, I just want to announce the giveaway real quick. Now there will be a bunch of winners in this giveaway. Now the first commenter will win 15 million um, GPs in game. The second commenter will win uh, 10 million GPs in game and then there will be three random winners. The first winner will get a legend uh, legendary donator rank which is the third best donator rank plus a death touch dart. The second prize will be an extreme donator rank and the third prize will be a regular donator rank. So uh, all you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, comment your in-game name down below, also make sure to turn on notifications because I might be picking the first commenter to win sometimes, uh, and also make sure you like the video. Now another thing I want to mention is if you want to donate on the server, you can actually use the coupon, coupon code NOOBSOWN, I'll leave the text on the screen right now, and you will get a 15% discount on all your purchases, so definitely make sure to use that code to get some uh, good deals. Alright, so let's start off with the home area, as you can see we have the nurse right here, we have Max to buy some Max Cape, we have the assassin which is actually like a custom um, Slayer monster, Slayer boss or something. You can actually get an assignment, I already have an assignment of 360 Sunfreed, which is a boss of course, um, and then you can check out the shop for more. Right here you have the estate agent if you want to buy a house, some altars to change your prayers, magics and also um, to train up your prayer of course. You also have a PK shop right here where you can buy consumables and stuff but there is a way better shop. Uh, if you go to the banks actually right here you have the main shops which is this NPC. Now if you check this uh, shop right here you have all the shops basically in here so you can check the combat store, um, you can check out the uh, combat overall and then you can find the melee equipment, magic equipment and stuff. So um, yeah, you do have quite a bunch of um, shops right here, like all in one, which is very nice. And besides that you also have the prestige master right there. So you also have the Ecto token store right here where you can spend some Ecto tokens. Then um, if you go a bit further, right here you have um, the scribe to get your clan vexillium. Um, forum tokens, you can actually get tokens by uh, being active on the forums, which is very nice. Um, and then you can check the forum token store where you can buy actually quite a, a bunch of cool stuff as you can see um, So yeah, that is really nice as well, of course and Then you have Hardy right there, which I actually don't know what Hardy does. So let's have a look here Oh, this is actually for a minigame. Okay, that's pretty nice. The wise old man where you can get yourself some capes Untrimmed skill capes, killing supplies um, Then some suggestions that you can get right there. Then upstairs here you have uh, a bunch of skilling stuff Like you have a bank chest right here um, then you have thieving stuff right here, you have a crystal chest, cooking range, a robust glass machine to train crafting. For people who don't know RS3, that's basically uh, something to train crafting on, so that's very nice, and a well of course. So um, yeah, that's the basic home area, which is pretty nice, it's not too big, not too small, it has everything that it needs to have, so yeah, that's very nice of course. Now if you want to teleport around the game, you can actually just click the quest symbol right there and then you can check teleport. You have mini games, killing, te uh, monster teleports, PvP, prayers and spellbooks. You also have divination teleport, which will uh, teleport you to a spot where you can train divination. But um, yeah, as you can see, for the skilling teleport, you get this interface. You just click like on a skill and then confirm, and then you'll be able to teleport to one of these locations to train that certain skill. So that is a very nice interface, of course. Um, also they have the donate panel right here where you can actually see everything that you can do with the donated uh, ranks You can actually view the donate store, change your appearance, set your yell um, You can also check the donated perks, donated commands depending on what rank you actually have and Then you can also check the uh, donated teleports You can also go to the donated teleports by typing DZ for donated zone And then you have uh, another rank as well uh, But yeah, the donated zone right here as you can see you have donated point shops right here, you have three of them where you can buy some really cool stuff um, to increase uh, everything basically. You also have a keepsake key which I'll go more in depth about later so you can actually um, get yourself some um, custom uh, outfits to get that fashion escape rocking you know. Um, then you have some donated clothing so this is basically a shop that you can only access if you are a donated. Uh, extreme donated shop then you also have a legendary donated shop where you can buy some pets and all that good stuff. And yeah, you basically have uh, two more pet stores right here where you can buy some more pets. So yeah, that is very nice as well. You also have this supreme donate rank right, uh, donate shop right here where you can actually buy a berserker ring eye for 20k coins, which is basically nothing. Uh, and then of course you have the main shops here as well with a bank chest. Now you also have the TZ, which is basically another donated zone. Uh, if you get here, this is a more a skilling 
uh, related donator zone as you can see you have a bunch of runite ores, silver ores, gold ores, adamant ores you can cook as smith, you also have a bunch of trees here to train tea, uh, to train woodcutting you can also train summoning here with the obelisk and of course a bank chest uh, with a prayer altar you can also spin, uh, take flags and spin it right there to train some crafting and some thieving styles of course and then you have Mr. X right here who basically does nothing at the moment but I am sure he will get some uh, use later on Alright, now to go more in depth about the, uh, about the keepsakes, you can actually type colon colon cosmetics once you keepsake an item and then you can actually select uh, one of your items right here, for example I will select the legs right now you can actually choose one of the items that you keepsake but uh, you can also actually hide it like this and then of course you can also unhide it if you want to so you can actually see um, whatever you actually have. So as I mentioned earlier you actually have divination on the server as well and then you can just select whatever level you are once you go to the area that you are uh, that you have selected all you have to do is basically click on these uh, wisps and then you will actually harvest them which will give you experience uh, once you harvest them of course besides the experience that you get you can also um, use the memories right here like on RS3 to actually level up your divination and train like that which is very nice of course now besides that you also have dungeoneering so if you click on dungeoneering you can actually teleport to one of the dungeons that you have for slayer and stuff but you can also teleport to demonheim of course where you can then um, actually train up your dungeoneering if you go into the dungeoneering entrance right here now of course what's actually cooler than having best in-game uh, and tier armor as you can see they have like full serenic they also have like full tectonic and they also have like the full um, malevolent for melee with that of course they have dragon long swords as you can see they also have the rapiers and the maces of course um, for the range they have the ascension crossbows and they actually have the full size mix uh, like the singularity and the wand which is very nice now you can think what is nicer than having anti-air armor of course that is having died anti-air armor so as you can see they have the full shadow serenic like basically every uh, single die they also have like the third age die but uh, I'll show this on the tectonic which looks absolutely beautiful and then they have the full Barrows Malevolent with the Barrows Rapiers as well so yeah that is very nice of course now besides that they still have a lot more which I'll just show in a second now of course with the ascensions they have the ascension bolts which will obviously will match the ascensions uh, besides that they also have like tier 90 and tier 90 t uh, 92 weapons they have all the noxious like the staff, the sight and the bow of course Besides that they also have the died version of them like the barrow side then you have the third age staff which looks absolutely beautiful and the shadow bow which looks even better. Now besides that they also have the tier 92 um, angel of death weapons like the wand of pressel and the imperium core which is super good for magic. Then they also have the staff of Sliske in the third age version which looks dope. Uh, they also have the regular one of course this is from Talos which I'll show in a second. You also have the Zeros God Sword, um, and actually I have to unequip it. Like uh, as you can see, these um, Zeros God Sword looks dope. Then they also have the died version of that. Also the Saren God Bow, and then of course the Shadow Saren God Bow, which looks so good. Now besides the Talos Pad that I have right here behind me, which looks actually super dope, you do have like a bunch of other pads as well. As you can see in this pad tab, I do basically have every single boss pad. Um, so yeah, Queen Black Dragling, uh, Corp, King, uh, yeah, King, Calphite King, my bad, uh, Calphite Queen, you also have all the Ascensions, all the Dagnods, um, Lucian, all the Barrows, um, also Penny, which is a Shadow um, boss, basically, all the God Wars bosses, uh, and a bunch more, so yeah, you do have a lot of boss pets on here, which is actually dope, but of course, if you want to have boss pets, you also need to have the bosses itself, so if we go to Teleport, you can actually check out um, my bad. If you go to teleport, you do need to click on the monster teleport, and then you can find the high level bosses right here. So you have the um, Queen Black Dragon Corp next. You also have the Wildy Worm. Um, yeah, I'm not going to pronounce that. Blink, Sunfried, Leuni, um, Virago, Oraxor, and the Calphite King. Now I will go to the uh, Rexor because I do like the looks of that boss. Like it looks actually really dope. So as you can see you get teleport to the entrance and then um, you just say yes I am prepared of course I am not because I, I just have no armor um, but yeah once you are right here you just have to kill a Rexor and once a Rexor is dead you will be able to loot his carcass for um, some big GPs maybe if you get lucky you can get like the noxious pieces and stuff. Now you also have blink so you can actually enter a boss room you can also start a new session which means you can basically instance it so you only have it for your private. 
Now this zone does actually look really cool. I didn't know it was in this zone, but it does look super cool. Um, but yeah, once you attack it, you can actually um, get yourself every single offhand from this boss, uh, except the tier 90s or tier 92 weapons. So yeah, that is very nice, of course, if you want to get some offhand offensive weapons, super nice. Now for the mini games, they do actually have a ton of mini games. As you can see, there are three almost full pages of mini games. They also have a few custom mini games. First, I just want to show off the Rise of the Six. Now, what this does is basically, if you don't have a, a clue of what Rise of the Six is, you basically have to fight an elite version of all the Six Barrows brothers. Um, and once all these are dead, you can actually get yourself um, tier 90 armor. Um, so yeah, that is very nice. So you just have to start this. Oh, you need a Barrows token. Oh my god, I totally forgot. You actually need to do the regular Barrows first, so you can get Barrows tokens from the chest there. And once you have the Barrows tokens, you can actually sacrifice it right here to start the Rise of the Six. Now they also have mini games like First of Good Eggs, Recipe for Disaster, Lava Flow Mine, all that good stuff. And um, besides that, they also have things like Dark Invasion, which is a custom one. Um, they also have the Warriors Guild Troll Invasion to fight trolls, um, which is basically a monthly on RS3 if you don't play that. Uh, they also have Stealing Creation, but let me just check out um, the Dark Invasion. Um, so, oh, this is basically right here. So you have to kill a bunch of zombies in this zone. And I suppose that it's within a timestamp because as you can see right here, you have so many seconds left. I guess it's for each wave because you do have bandages to heal yourself if it's needed. Um, and I think you get points for every single zombie that you kill. So um, one of the three zombies, oh yeah, there you can see it. You gain um, some game points, which you will eventually be able to spend in the minigame store. Anyways, that's going to be all for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Also, make sure to check out Elvron because this server is actually the coolest freaking 718 server I have ever seen because of all the cool RS3 customs and all RS3 bosses, which I enjoy a lot. Um, also, make sure you enter the giveaway. But with that said, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Peace.